I just want to thank Tom and all of my colleagues in the Senate and the House, and I want to thank all of the organizations uh, who have been active in this extraordinarily important struggle. And most importantly, I want to thank the three million Americans who signed petitions making it clear that if we are going to maintain a true democracy in this country, it is absolutely imperative that we overturn this disastrous 5-4 to four Supreme Court decision on Citizens United. Now, you may not know it if you've watched TV lately or you read the newspapers, because this issue gets very little coverage, but the truth of the matter is, the issue that we will be debating this week is the most important issue that we have discussed in a number of years. And it is extremely important <clears throat> because the results of this debate will in fact determine whether or not we retain a middle class in this country, whether or not we retain a strong democracy in this country, or whether we move toward an oligarchic form of society where the billionaire class not only controls the economy, but controls the political life of this country. There are, for most Americans, what you get at the ballot box is one vote. For the Koch brothers, you get one vote plus the ability to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to elect candidates who represent the rich and the powerful. And as Raw pointed out a moment ago, if people think this is some kind of esoteric issue, not related to jobs and the economy and wages and women's rights and income and wealth inequality and health care and global warming, you are deadly wrong. Now, what hasn't been discussed very much is why do people like the Koch brothers spend hundreds of millions of dollars? Why have they put some 44,000 ads on radio and television in this campaign alone? And if you understand what they stand for, and that is to end, do away with Social Security, do away with Medicare, do away with Medicaid, do away with the concept of the minimum wage, do away with the Environmental Protection Agency, that is the struggle that we are raging. These guys are spending money not because they just want to spend money. They have an agenda, and it is an agenda of the very wealthy and for the very wealthy. So this is an issue that we need to bring all people together, progressives, moderates, conservatives, because there are very few people that I know who believe that democracy has anything to do with the right of billionaires to buy elections. Thank you.